interesting stuff. America's Motor City, Detroit was once an industrial superpower, now bankrupt and $18 billion in debt. Not so much. It's been called a lot of bad names, including a decaying rust belt. From broken street lights to broken dreams, a new technology center is emerging. Rosa Kazan reports. This is a really fun Deuce of Hazards. I love the vintage vibe and the old school tees. Ebony Rutherford has been making t-shirts for six years, mostly as a hobby, selling them through her website, Trisha's Garage. This is actually made from recycled blue jeans. But now she's taking the leap, quitting her full-time job to open her own storefront like this one, which she is using as a testing ground. I am scared, but in a good way. Like that nervousness just keeps me driving. Like, okay, Ebony, I know you're nervous. I know you're eating ramen noodles right now, but it's okay. <laughs> What gave her this courage was an eight-week retail boot camp offered by Tech Town Detroit, a group that calls itself the most established business incubator in the city. It's true when they say it's like um, it takes a village to raise an entrepreneur, and they have raised me. When I have questions or concerns, it's like, hey, my mentor, where are you at? I need some help. I don't think I'm doing it right. Give me some pep talk. It's the kind of enthusiasm Leslie Smith, president of Tech Town Detroit, likes to hear, proudly showing off its new co-sharing space. So these tables over here are for kind of hourly half day and day engagements. That offers budding entrepreneurs, desks, coat racks, and even bike storage. This is Tech Town Detroit's brand new kitchen, but it's not just a space for co-workers to come and have their lunch here. It's also a space for aspiring food entrepreneurs to come out, serve their dishes and test the market. Tech Town Detroit started out with a focus on technology and innovation, but now it wants to help bring around Detroit's economy by reviving its retail sector too. We don't have enough um, retail opportunities for folks to be urged to visit or live, and so we're trying to solve that problem. It's an ambitious goal for a city whose population shrunk by more than half in the last 50 years, a city in serious financial trouble. One of the huge challenges, of course, is the bankruptcy and the $18 billion of debt that Detroit still has to see its way out of. Um, it's, that's going to most likely affect pensioners. That's going to affect people who live here. And as their incomes are affected, you know, that's not good for the businesses who are here. But Tech Town believes this is exactly why Detroit is now a place to be. It's a wide open blank canvas that you get to kind of, you know, create your own future in. And that's harder to do in well-established cities, you know, you have to fit into the construct of a Chicago or a New York or a Silicon Valley or Boston. Um, here you can kind of make your own space and, and design your own future, which is pretty cool. Ebony believes so too. Because we're a diamond in the rough. But we, once we shine, we're going to shine so bright. And I just, I just love the innovation that's, that's in the city, and I want to stay here, and I want to be part of that. I want to say, yeah, I'm from Detroit, and I'm able to make an imprint in the world, in my city. And you could say she's already doing that, one T-shirt at a time. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Detroit.